These are all Mike Jake's Twitter pictures you get on here. Um, cake decorating is really easy if you really are interested in it, and there are a few tricks that are easy to remember to help you get out of just certain surprise situations that come up. So I'll be talking about chocolate cake versus white icing. Um, when the cake falls in the middle, certain icing disasters and getting discouraged over it. So the first one is the chocolate cake versus the white icing, and I like to call this the speckled cake because it almost looks like cookies and cream ice cream. Um, this usually only happens when the cake is still really moist and it's warm and it's fresh out of the oven because you start to smooth it on and I found that freezing it really helps because it makes it solid and more firm so you don't have to worry about the cake looking at any time and you can just go to town ice again. Um, a quote I found from Bake Mag Magazine says, freezing a freshly baked cake is one of the best things you can do. It seals in the moisture and if you plan to ice and or decorate the cake, you'll have an easier time because freezing will keep it firm. And then another solution I found is using fondant because then you can just ice the cake, it really doesn't matter if it looks kind of speckled. Um, you can just uh, cover it up with this big sugary sheet, which are what these flowers are made out of, and you know, you can them. And then another one is when the cake collapses in the middle. Um, there's two ways you can fix this. You can buy a leveler, just a little tool, and you put it on one side and pull it straight across. I've found that that works a lot, and it gives it kind of a really smooth effect, but then you have to freeze it again to make sure it doesn't spread when you ice it. And then another one that is a favorite of my family is to just put a ton of extra icing in the middle and fill it up. And it's still good. There's just a lot of extra icing. Okay, certain disasters. Um, if you're like me and you've never baked in your life or cooked, I had the experience of figuring out what the difference was between confectioners and granulated sugar. Um, I ended up making uh, frosting that was kind of mashed potato looking and very clumpy. I had my little brother try it and he said it was disgusting. Um, so make sure you use confectioners. Um, another thing that can happen is traveling, you know, if you're delivering a cake somewhere, they can smudge on the box or just kind of fall over a little bit. And what I found is just make sure you have the right colors and extra icing just to cover up your little mistake. And then the consistency is also a very important thing because I've seen cakes where there's three different kinds of consistencies, stiff, medium, and thin. And if you have stiff, you can make um, things like flowers and other 3D objects on the cake, and then um, if you have medium, it's mainly used for writing and piping on the cake, and then um, thin is usually just used for icing the cake itself. And I found that people like to use thin a lot more than they do the stiff because it's easier to move and use and everything, but then you have like melted flowers later on when you go to deliver your cake. And then the last one is not to get discouraged over, you know, comparing it to like famous like Buddy Velastro kind of cakes, Cake Boss. Um, everyone's at different levels, and so you have to just be patient and take the time. And um, your own ideas are really helpful too, because I mean, I found both of these ideas on the internet, but for like my little brother's Patriot cake. Um, I knew I wanted to do the football field, but I didn't really know how to incorporate the logo for it. And so what I did is I just printed out a piece of paper that had the little mascot on it. And I cut it out, and then I used piping gel and went around it. And filled it in to look like that, and it turned out pretty good. And then, you know, you can just take ideas like that and kind of just think about it. It's actually not as hard as it looks. And One quote that I found from Buddy Palastro, he's from the hit TV series, um, Cake Boss, is baking is a science. If the recipe says measure it, measure it. If it says a cup, it means a cup. 
You have to read the steps and do the method. And most importantly, make sure you are having fun doing this. And to me, deck cleaning cakes is a very fun thing to do, and it's a very rewarding experience at times. It can be hard and it can be difficult, but with some patience and practice and helpful tips, um, it is possible to really go far and make some pretty cool things. Didn't bring us a sample on. No, I should have. <laughs> <laughs>